Hey guys, it's LaShonda Henry here, and you are listening to the Sister Sense Talks show, the place where I help you make sense of making money online. Yay! (laughs) I am so excited for so many reasons. First and foremost, it's spring. Oh my goodness. I'm so freaking happy that we don't have to deal with snow anymore, hibernation. And for those of you who've been listening to me on Sister Sense or you're a part of my power circle, you know I've got spring cleaning on the brain, right? I need to clean out my garage and get all these wonderful things happening in the home. I absolutely love gardening. Now that I have a home, I am a gardener. (laughs) That was kind of one of the things that I thought about when I said, you know, um, when I buy my first home, I'm thinking about me barefoot on the swing, on the porch, uh, sipping my sweet tea, and then, of course, gardening. Those are some of the things that I wanted to do. So I'm so happy about it being spring. But really about me starting the Sister Sense Talks podcast show. This is the first episode. Yay! (laughs) Um, Actually, Sister Sense Talks was something that I started a couple of years ago. I did a whole audio series on what you can do as far as getting started with blogging, how to fight the fear and use technology in your business, information, how to be an information entrepreneur online. So I did a whole full series on Sister Sense Talks. And then, you know, I've kind of had this podcasting bug in me. It's like everywhere I am, that's where podcasters are. And I'm like, you know, I want to start that. I'm going to start that. And then, of course, I've recently refreshed my space. SisterSense.com has a new look and feel, which I absolutely love, and I hope you love it too. Um, so it's got all of these great, cool features, and, and one of them is this new audio integration. And so you, I was like, look, the time has come for me to officially start this podcast and, you know, rock the web with you guys. So again, really excited about doing that. And of course, you know, I'm not the only one who's spring cleaning and refreshing. As you know, I am a web designer and a lot of my clients are now coming back and saying, okay, LaShonda, I need a new look. I need to work on something different. So definitely check out some of the lovely ladies in my circle. Um, A plus senior care, Carlin, one of the wonderful women that I work with has her own senior care business. And that's a plus senior care.com and Nahari created by the wonderful designer Sumia Rashid at and have hyphen Nahari.com plus size lingerie for the sexy and curvy. Um, I love the new campaign. I am size sexy. So for my plus size ladies, you definitely want to check out and Nahari plus size lingerie. And of course, Swagger for Christ, one of my new clients, one of my new favorite clients, uh, Minister Rhonda has a wonderful website, a Swagger for Christ Youth Ministries. And also she's working with um, different ministries to build their presence online as well, as well as helping parents find really positive websites and resources for their young people. So I'm definitely excited about working on her project. It's a big re- fresh as she's doing a complete redesign with me and you can definitely check out what we're working on at swagger for that's number four swagger for christ.com so yes spring is in the air we're doing some amazing things and people are changing and, and and making things happen i hope you are too i'm definitely excited about our session today because i'm talking about abundance how to live abundant and Abundantly, I should say, and essentially do more, make more, and see more of the money, right? See more of the money that you're making inside of your business. So we are going to jump right into that topic. But first and foremost, I must say this. Now that you know about the show, you've got to ask me a question. (laughs) So I'm going to be requesting that you guys send me questions that you'd like to hear about on the show. Um, You can email me at lhenry at sistasense.com, S-I-S-T-A-S-E-N-S-E. E.com. Of course, you can go on over to sistersense.com and use that nice little wonderful tab that you see on the right there. It says, leave me a voicemail. And I love that because you can send me an audio voice message and guess what? I can play it on the show. <laughs> so you can send me an audio voice message, ask me a question. I definitely want to know what you guys want to know about as far as making sense of making money online. If you need clarity about your business, your startup, your marketing, your 
projects, your blogging, your social media, your tools, whatever it is, your website design, what should you have on the space? How should you get started as far as information and marketing and digital products, all of that stuff, you know, definitely send me a message. And by the way, the voicemail application that I use is SpeakPipe, which is S P E A K. P-I-P-E, definitely check it out. You can download the app. You can download the SpeakPipe app and on your phone, you can send me a voice message too. So click that, send it to lhenry at sistersense.com. And again, I will do my best to answer as many money, marketing, mindset, motivational questions that you guys have from me here on Sister Sense Talks. So, alrighty, <laughs> let's jump into our sessions today, living abundantly, how to do more, make more, and save more of the money that you make. The first thing is do more. I've got productivity on the brain right now, really and truly, because today could just as easily be next year right? You know, the year goes by so fast. I just had Kids Fest at my son's school and I was like, oh my goodness, you know, before we blink, it's going to be summertime again. And so you want to make sure that you are as productive as you can possibly be in your business. So the first thing is how to do more. You're living abundantly as an entrepreneur when you've got a crazy schedule, especially when you're a, a nine to five lady or guy, but you're doing your startup, you know, after hours or you've got you know you're like me and you've got your your family your kids your hubby your wifey <laughs> however the case may be trying to figure out how to do that ugh balancing act and i say ugh because people just kind of go oh really can i we say you know how do you find balance or you know how do you integrate time management into your busy schedule we say these things and they sound lovely but realistically, how you practically get those things done, that's what we're trying to talk about. So I'm going to share some productivity tips with you guys, and then um, we'll go from there, okay? So first and foremost, when it comes to productivity and being realistic about it, you've got to plan ahead. So I want to say about two weeks ago, I was one of the wonderful speakers at the B4 conference that was hosted by Rhonda Nails, Project Push. And Rhonda invited me to be a speaker for this particular conference, I want to say back in November 2013. And now we're in April, right? And so she strategically went out and invited all of her wonderful speakers, set up the program, had it all set and ready to go at least four or five months ago. And so one of the things that I want you to do when you think about how can I be more productive is answer the question, how much are you planning ahead? Okay, that's a biggie. How much are you planning ahead? Um, For me, there are certain things that I like to do strategically throughout the year, whether it be my Power Circle Conference in January or my Back to Business webinars in October. You've got to think to yourself, what exactly is it that I need to get done, either because this is something that I'm launching or because these are other opportunities that I'm working on with other people. You've got to plan ahead because once you do that, it's really going to help you become more productive on your day-to-day and in your business overall throughout the year. So one of the things that I'm doing is my power up sessions. And in that I host two group calls a week inside the power circle on sister sense. And you can find that at sistersense.com. So our last call, I really talked about some things as far as how you put together your weekly routines and figure out, well, what is it that I need to focus on today? So you should definitely check that out. But Really, a part of that process of figuring out what it is that I need to do is planning ahead. And then also get a calendar, okay? I used to hate this, you know. I I, I grew up in New York, so, and, you know, I would work in Manhattan. I, I just hated looking at everybody with their day planners. It drove me crazy. I, was like, I don't want to be a day planner girl, but guess what? I'm a day planner girl. <laughs> it absolutely Helps so much when you've got a calendar and you're clear about what it is that you need to do. 
For me, I love Google Calendar. Google has a list, an amazing mega list of resources that a lot of us use. We use analytics. We use Google just to search, period. Um, I'm sure most of you have got a Google Plus account or you use YouTube. Google is a part of our day in so many wonderful ways. It's crazy. Google Maps, when you go out and you're like, where's the nearest coffee shop? But also, for me, Google Calendars is one of those wonderful tools that helps me stay on track. And I put everything in there. What's great about Google is, one, that it's free. Two, it's very robust. So it's got a lot of features. Three, for me, I can integrate it with just about everything. So... What I've got in Google is I've got about three different calendars, one for general business activities, one for assistance sense activities, like when I've got my one-on-one coaching client calls, when I have my webinars, or when I have events coming up. Then I have mommy and me activities. Yes, I know, typical suburban mom, but if it's my son's kids fest or a trip or a doctor visit, I put it in there because what happens is when I put my personal events in my calendar, it syncs up with my appointment system that I have on SysterSense so that when people are coming to set up a session with me, if all day Friday it's me and my son, they won't schedule a session on that day because it's already locked and booked. So I can just make sure that whoever's in the calendar, nothing is overlapping and things don't get crazy. But again, having multiple calendars is wonderful. And then also what I love about it is that when you set up your calendar in Google, you can actually set reminders for yourself so that one, at least 24 hours before any given appointment, I get a text message, which I love, and also an email, which I love. Google Calendar is like my virtual assistant. So in the morning, one of the first things I do, and I talked about in the Power Up Call, you know, creating your daily routines, one of the first things I do is at 5 a.m., I get that email from Google that says, these are your scheduled appointments for today. There's like, again, like my free VA, right? (laughs) And so I can see exactly who I need to talk to and what needs to happen. And then when I have my sessions with my coaching clients and I have one-on-one sessions with clients throughout the day. So at least an hour before a session, I get a reminder. 60 minutes to your call with Rhonda or Renee or Joyce or whoever, (laughs) you know, all the lovely and amazing ladies and men. I have to plug that because I do have men um, clients, male clients that I work with. Um, I'll get that reminder, which is wonderful so that I can stay on top. A part of the process is, one, you want to plan ahead. Another part of the process is that you want to have your calendar strategically laid out so you know what's happening when. And with those reminders, I can stay on point because, again, I do different things. So throughout the week, if I'm working on a web project for a client, right, Swagger for Christ, I'm, you know, I've got four hours that I'm working on her project, then I can see a text message, okay, you've got a client session in an hour, so that I know and I'm not lost in the moment, right, working on the project. Sometimes we get so lost in what we're doing it's hard to go, oh no, I've got, I've got something else going on. It's hard to remember everything that's on my plate. So that's why I love Google Calendar. It helps me stay productive, organized, and on point. Um, what I use in combination with Google Calendar is a wonderful app. And you can search for it. If you go to your app store on your mobile device and you search for calendars, you'll see a bunch of them come up. The one that I love to use actually is by Riedel. R-E-A-D-D-L-E, so you'll see Calendars by Riedel. That's the one that I use, and I actually purchased it so I can use all the features, Um, but it's definitely a great tool. Another biggie for me, as far as productivity is concerned, is knockout days. I love, love, love. (laughs) I love, love, love knockout days, and you're probably like, what is that? Well, Sister Sense knockout days is basically days that I've got on my weekly calendar where What I do for any given knockout day is just take a list of small projects and just literally knock them out. You may find that sometimes you've got so much stuff to do, you don't know where to start. And so there are days where I focus on longer projects, but then there are days where I'll say, okay, well, this will take 30 minutes, this will take an hour, maybe this will take two hours. Just list them out. 
and then knock them out and you feel, oh my goodness, it's like, you know, losing 10 pounds. <laughs> you feel so much lighter and you feel accomplished because you were able to just take a bunch of things and knock them out. Now, this is particularly helpful, helpful, again, for those who are just like, I don't know what to do first. You know, when you feel like you can't do anything and you're stuck, just take a bunch of small products, projects, I should say, take a bunch of small projects and just knock them out, dive in, you know, okay, I need to respond to five emails, boom, bam, done. I need to, you know, send this person some graphics, done. I need to, you know, go out and buy some supplies for your my business, you know, done. Just get a bunch of those things done. And, and I love that. So um, I would definitely re- recommend the knockout day strategy. Strategy. Um, we talked about different ways, again, to do your routines inside my weekly power up calls. Um, so if you're not a member of that, you can go to Sister Sense and you'll see the join tab so that you can join our power up sessions. And I did mention that I also do one on one sessions as well. So people will go, well, how do I do that? How do I become a part of your one on one circle? Um, one, I have mentorship. I've got my Sister Sense Insider Circle Mentorship Program. So if you go on join dot in addition to seeing the information about my power up circle you also see how you can get access to the insider circle so that you and I can talk and you can essentially participate in my one-on-one clarity sessions you get two of those of those each month right so we can work together on an ongoing basis but if you just want to say talk to me for 60 minutes just one time um, you can go to call me dot and schedule a call with me there. So planning ahead, get a calendar. Um, You know, I'm not a day planner girl where I write into a physical calendar. There are some things that I'm just, you know, (laughs) I'm an app techie kind of girl. So the Google Calendar and the Calendars app, they work really well for me. And then, of course, knockout days. Last but not least, when it comes to productivity, take your projects Seriously, I watched this really, really wonderful video and inside of it, this one particular expert, love her to death. She works a lot with women entrepreneurs like myself. She shared some recommendations on productivity, which I'm going to include in my show notes today um, so that you can watch that video as well. And one of the things that she recommended, which I totally agree with, is to take yourself seriously. Um, One of the things that you should do as an entrepreneur is if you're gonna come up with these ideas, don't dismiss them, don't say they're stupid, don't say they won't work, don't say that, you know, oh my God, people are gonna think somebody has already done it before, why is she doing this? Listen, you're gonna put your spin on it, you're gonna put your foot in it, you're gonna do it the way only you can. And so you have to realize that you've gotta get out of your own head and actually get things done in your business. That's how businesses grow. You know, as a matter of fact, as I'm saying this, I'm gonna share one of the quotes that I shared in my last Power Up Accountability Circle. I call it the A-Team, our accountability team. And this was by... Ernest Hemingway, never mistake motion for action. I love that quote. Never mistake motion for action, meaning don't think that just because you're doing a bunch of stuff, you're being proactive (laughs) and doing the things that are actually going to get the right things done for your business. So when you come up with plans, strategies, and tasks that have to get done, take them seriously, get them done, put them in the calendar, set deadlines, and make sure you don't dismiss them either because you've gotten in your own head or you said, okay, well, I've got so much other quote unquote busy work to do for myself or other people's. I'll get to that at some point someday. Someday may never come unless you're clear about setting those deadlines for yourself. And again, take your projects seriously. Okay, you've got to designate time that you just work on your stuff and your stuff alone. So, okay, we talked about how to do more. Those are just, you know, this is like the tip of the iceberg, right? As far as productivity is concerned. Every week I'm working with the ladies inside of my circle. Maybe you, maybe you will be new to the circle. Again, if you join us inside of our Power Up 
calls because the idea is that every week I want you to be motivated, I want you to get some guidance, and I want you to be inside of my A team, my accountability circle. So whether it be hearing me or hearing the other ladies, you feel motivated and energized to move forward. I never want you guys to feel stuck, right, and stagnant. I want you to de-stress and power up, which is what the power up circle is all about. So we talked about productivity. Let's move to something new. How to do more. Let's talk about how to make more. How to make more in your business as an entrepreneur. Number one, I believe that return business is absolutely essential to sustaining your income and making you happy. If you always have to create a new product or find a new customer or client, you're going to drive yourself insane. (laughs) Absolutely insane. So I look at Fortune 500 businesses and I go, I want to be like that. And when you think about it, whether it's your favorite store that you shop at or that bill that you know you need to pay by the first because it needs to be paid by the first. That's what return business is all about. And that's how you go from startup to six figure to million dollar to multi million dollar to billion dollar business, right? Because you've got loyal customers that want you, need you, and have to come back on a weekly, bi weekly, monthly, and annual basis, right? That's the key. So I want you to think about return business. What are you doing to entice people to come back to you? How often do you get customers coming back to you? And how often do you talk to previous customers who have purchased from you? Okay, so those are three questions that I want you to ask yourself. In order for you to build your business, one thing that I want you to do is figure out how you're going to go back, follow up with some of your previous customers either talk about whether or not they need your service again or talk about a new product or service that you can provide to them, okay? So that's something that I want you to think about. So for example, um, a lot of you use Eventbrite. I use it too, and I was actually just talking to one of my clients about this concept. Um, If you've ever used Eventbrite, you do an event, whether it be a live one or a virtual one, and then maybe a week or two later, you'll get an email from Eventbrite that says, well, that was fun. <laughs> Let's do it again. How did you think about, you, you, know, you know, how did your conference or your event go? Let's work together so that we can host your next event. They automatically follow up with you as soon as that process is complete. That's something that you need to be doing for your business, going, hey, That was fun. I loved working with you. Or, you know, how did you use that product? What did you think about it? How can we work together again? Return business is essential to making more in your business on a regular basis. And I've got some really nifty recommendations and strategies about that. Um, One of which I'll say is you can check out 21ways.sistersense.com where I talk about 21 ways to make more sales. And really it's kind of a case study of six-figure entrepreneurs and multi-million dollar businesses that I follow looking at those strategies that they use to effectively sell their products and services and then showing you that so you can integrate that kind of stuff into your business. So that's number one. You want to make more sales? Focus on bringing in more return business into your business. Number two, don't wait for sales. Work on them. So I can imagine a lot of entrepreneurs who are going, you know, LaShonda, I'm not getting what I want. It's kind of like crickets that, you know, I can kind of see you sitting there, you know, looking at the computer screen, your hands perched up underneath your chin like, hmm. What, what, when are they coming? <laughs> what, how come they're not coming yet? You know, just like, if you wait, they will come. Or, you know, if you build it, they will come. You can't wait for sales. You got to work on them. You really have to be proactive about getting things done in your business. As a matter of fact, about two weeks ago inside my circle, and I do so many weekly calls, but I love talking to you guys, right? So I do my Jumpstart Your Business calls on Thursdays, and about two weeks ago, I did a session on click by click, how you can really be proactive about talking to your audience to build your visibility and your customer base. 
you know, what's funny about that is during that week, I spoke to one of my clients and she said to me, um, okay, LaShonda, we're working on her, um, she's doing a tele telesummit and we're working on that. And she said to me, I got a new speaker. She said, well, actually not a new speaker, but I invited somebody to speak. And then, you know, um, I was waiting for her to send me an email follow-up and she was waiting for me to send her an email follow-up. And it just kind of that waiting process took way long. So, um, but we finally got reconnected and she's on board. You don't know what's happening with their lives. They don't know what's happening with your lives. So how about you be the one to be the proactive person and follow up? Um, I shared a strategy inside my Jumpstart Your Business call, really simple stuff. But essentially, in following up in an hour, I was able to bring in about $2,000 in new client work because I looked at those people who either had questions or who had inquiries or who previously worked with me before, I made sure I reconnected with them and I gave them a great offer they couldn't refuse. That's something that you've got to think about yourself. And you can definitely go to Sister Sense, um, look for that article, um, not article, but <laughs> that Jumpstart Your Business replay on click by click, how to build your visibility and your customer base. But the heart of it is this, you have to go out and be proactive about talking to individuals, not just blindly sending out tweets or Facebook shares or e-blasts or even emails. You've got to make sure that you're talking to specific people you feel would be interested in something that you have to offer. Don't just wait for sales, work on them, okay? Now, here's another one that's absolutely wonderful. Are you down with OPP? <laughs> Remember that song? You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Okay, I can't sing, but that's a whole other story altogether. And no, I'm not talking about that other OPP. This is a good, clean show. <laughs> Are you down with other people's products? Something that I like to do as a full-time work-at-home mama is make sure that I supplement my full-time income as a web designer and also a mentor to women who want to come to me and get clear about their startup businesses online. In addition to that by being my primary source of income, I like to supplement things with OPP, other people's products. So I would recommend if you're an entrepreneur, at some point, you've got to get serious about affiliate marketing, about advertising and about AdSense. I call that my 3 a.m. system. And no, I don't work up three o'clock in the morning to do work. <laughs> my 3 a.m. system is AdSense, affiliate marketing, and advertisers. So really being proactive about creating spaces on your website or your web properties where advertisers can market, um, where you can talk about affiliate products, and also thinking about how you integrate AdSense strategically so that you can generate supplemental income for yourself from those three spaces. Um, I will say this, when I just plugged up AdSense, I made a couple of cents over the course of several months. When I got serious about integrating AdSense and figuring out how it really worked and writing more content, writing good content, I figured out how to make over $10,000 just from that source alone. So the idea here is that you can't simply plug up some AdSense or throw up some affiliate banners and links and then go, oh, this doesn't work, on to the next thing. You've got to figure out how this stuff works. That's a part of the process. Then you've got to take some time to really make it work for yourself. Be strategic. Talk about affiliate products and not just oh, I went on Commission Junction and I found a bunch of affiliate products and I decided, decided to just throw them all up on my website. That doesn't work. You got to talk about affiliate products that you know, like, and trust. It's not about selling. It's about recommending when it comes to affiliate marketing. So I oftentimes recommend those products that I use and would have my clients use or those ladies in my circle who go, oh, wow, you know, this is very valuable. I would recommend that as well. Okay, so um, understanding how affiliate marketing works, AdSense, and even advertisers. Um, I want to say maybe about two months ago, because I get advertisers periodically, not all the time. I'm not a full-time blogger. I blog for business. That's very, very different, okay? Um, but I do enjoy writing and blogging about certain topics like writing and um, being a mommy. I've got the Black Parenting blog, um, as well as I've got 
the Natural Hairstyles blog. So I've got different blogs out there. And I want to say about a couple of months ago, I got an advertiser who wanted to write a couple of articles on my space and paid me about $400 just to put up two articles. So, um, you know, being in a position where you strategically put together advertising spaces and packages on your, your site, that definitely helps you supplement your income. It's a good way to make more without necessarily doing a whole lot more in the process. But again, you've got to educate yourself on how this stuff works if you want it to work for you. And then, of course, getting paid for what you know. I love, love, love getting paid for what I know as an entrepreneur. Um, It's something that I find a lot of people come to me and they go, okay, I know you do information entrepreneurship, and I I love this. I actually want um, to work with you in some way, shape, or form. Um, I think that for me, the two fundamental parts of getting paid for what I know falls under me doing my calls, whether it be one-on-one sessions or group sessions for clients, and then me creating digital content that I sell, whether it be e-courses, audios, e-books, and things like that. Um, But, you know, understanding that process, it goes beyond, well, I want to get paid for what I know, so I'm going to write a book. Or I'm going to look wait for speaking gigs. Because remember, I said you can't wait. You got to work, right? So for me, it's all about getting out on that soapbox and going, hey, guys, this is what I know. Do you want to know this too? And then folks come over and say, yes, we do. We do. <laughs> I feel like a Dr. Seuss book. Um, but yes, the idea here is for you to be proactive about sharing your recommendations, sharing your know-how with the world. Um, And I'm very transparent. I let people know that I teach based on what it is that I've learned as an entrepreneur and a web designer, as well as I teach those strategies that work for myself and work for clients. Am I a certified coach? I am not. I am a full-time work-at-home mama, and I mentor other women who would like to utilize my strategies in their business. So I try to be as transparent as possible. In other words, keep it real because, you know, you want to be who you are and not what you believe other people want you to be. That's a part of the process. And so think about that. Are you in a place right now that you have information that you would like to share with the world, either because that's something that you are passionate about or because you find people are picking your brain all the time. How do you do this? When did you do that? How did you start that? And you go, wait, you know, this is information that I can actually get paid for. Um, You know, it's something that you definitely should look into and think about. Um, I've talked about different ways as far as you, how is, is how you can monetize your message. Actually, that's one of the latest audio sessions on Sister Sense. Um, and again, once you sign up, you get access to all of these wonderful replays, the last one being how to monetize your message. And then I also did a five-day training, which ladies loved. They love, love, loved. Um, and it was called Pro webinars. So that's at prowebinars.sistersense.com. Essentially how to create your own webinars for profit or promotion. And I'm so excited, y'all, because my ladies are just doing it. (laughs) So many of them are inside the training that participated are now launching their webinar processes. They're doing telesummits and, and, you know, recordings and getting paid. And I'm just happy about that because, again, it's not about working, waiting on it. It's about working on it, right? So um, I I love that as far as how you can make more in your business. You want to think about return business, not waiting for sales, but working on them. OPP, other people's products, whether it be through advertising, AdSense, or affiliate marketing, and getting paid for what you know, how to get on your soapbox, how to create a space where other people are finding value and you're getting financially, you're getting that, you know, financial monetization, that value from what it is that you know. So last but not least, inside the show today, we're going to talk about how to see more, right? So we talked about how to do more as far as productivity, how to make more in your business, and how to see more of the money that you make. That's a biggie, you know? If you're just spending, 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 it's hard to really feel happy about what it is that you're doing. And, you know, for me, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it to some 
fundamental level, right? You want to be passionate about what you do and you want to feel like it's purposeful as well. And um, this whole concept of being happy, really, it's something that I've been talking about since last year, um, you know, with the Unblock Your Blessings 90 Day Challenge at unblockyourblessings.com. Um, um, last month, I did a whole session, which you can watch on how to be a happy entrepreneur, which is really the beginning, right? What are those things that you can do on a daily and weekly basis to become more happier in your business? And of course, if you didn't see that, you can definitely listen to it at behappy.sistersense.com. Um, but a part of that process of being happier for me is being able to see the money, right? You're not going to just work and work and work and work and work yourself to death. You want to be able to see that money and, you know, use it, right? Live abundantly. So here are some little things, little recommendations that I would say can help you see more of the money that you make. Number one, find cost-effective solutions to run your business. Now, I know this one should go without saying, but honestly, for some people, it's worth saying because trust me, common sense ain't common. (laughs) So you want to think about that when it comes to your business. Are you using cost-effective solutions? So for example, there are a ton of different services that you can use for email marketing. Um, One of the big boy heavy hitters, if not the biggest boy, is Infusionsoft. And a lot of pro marketers use Infusionsoft. I think it's about $300 or $400 a month. They use it because they know that they're getting a return on their investment. When they send out their emails and their marketing, they're going to bring in way more than that little measly $300. So it works for them. If you're paying $300 for Infusionsoft and you're not making any money... Not to laugh, now is the time for you to go with something that's a little bit more cost effective. Same thing goes with just about anything. So for example, I'm not just here to talk about other people. I'm going to put myself on blast as well. Um, I like to use GoToWebinar and GoToMeeting. You know, it was one of the first platforms that I was introduced to. Um, But guess what? I really don't want to spend $99 unless I'm doing a, a, a big session where I've got, you know, three, four hundred people in my session, I'm I'm not going to invest that money when I know there are other cost effective services that I can use. And, you know, I mentioned that whole five day training pro com. I talked about one service in particular where I can use, um, you know, strategically to do my webinars for under 20 bucks. That's a big difference from ninety nine dollars a month with, you know, something like go to webinar, go to meeting. And that's the smaller packages. That's not the bigger ones. So, again, you want to think about what you're using in your business, what services um, you're consistently integrating. And if there are more cost effective ways to get the job done, you know, that's what you need to do. So another example of that is my appointment system. You know, I've got so many lovely ladies who are regularly talking to me on a weekly basis. So I wanted them to have a easier way to book sessions with me took me about two or three days, but I found an application that really works well. Now, there are some other applications that you can use for booking systems. And if you're a, um, a consultant or a service professional like myself, you may use one of them. Um, I find that while there are some great ones online and they're low cost, you can find a decent booking system for about $9.99 or $20, $30, really depending upon the kind of service that you use. But I didn't want to have a monthly fee. So as a web designer and a tech person, I was able to work out and find an application that I can integrate. It was a learning curve, you know, but it now works well. It's integrated lovely into my business. And, you know, it's now a service that I provide. I can integrate that appointment system into your business as well. But in using one service versus paying a monthly fee to somebody else, I can see more of the money that I make. You know, if you think about it, if you're paying $10 to someone else for a monthly service and you don't necessarily use it, that's $120 that you can save, right? So think about how many ways you can cut the fat and by finding more cost-effective solutions to run your business. 
Number two, Ebates. Love it. <laughs> the coupon queen in my circle, Rhonda Nails. Um, she does so many wonderful things, one of which was her wonderful coupon workshop. And um, I loved it so much the first time, you know, I've had her host that particular workshop at two of my Sister Sense Power events thus far. It's like a, 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 a goodie. But one of the wonderful things that Rhonda shared was Ebates is basically an online service where you can get cash back for your purchases. And so I signed up. And if you'd like to sign up through me, you can go to ebates.sisterscents.com. They have seasonal giveaways where when you sign up, you can get a $10 gift card. I signed When I signed up, um, I got one for, I think it was for Target. And then another friend of mine signed up and got one for Home Depot. So um, if you sign up, you can definitely look at that. Again, it is seasonal, so I'm not sure if they're doing that right now. But that's just a small part of the process. What I really love is that when I'm shopping at like Amazon, for example, or when I'm getting airline tickets to go somewhere, that was a biggie. When I found out about Ebates, I nearly hit the floor because at that time, I think I spent about somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 on tickets to Vegas. I was going to uh, a Blogalicious for, and I and spent so much money online because I shopped for everything online. And then I went to Rhonda's workshop, found out about Ebates and then realized I could have gotten so much money back, you know, cash back had I known about it before. Um, so now that I know, I use it quite a bit through Orbitz as well as Amazon, and they've got a ton, like a ton of different, you've, I would say just about any major store that you shop at, at online is connected to Ebates. Um, so again, um, if you want to see more of the money you make, you can definitely sign up through them. I love that. So one, when I make purchases on Amazon, first I log into Ebates, then click Amazon so I can get that cash back check in the mail. So that's one wonderful thing. And then two, what's great about Ebates is that you can tell more people about it, share the love. And in the process of sharing the love, you get a return. You get another wonderful check in your mail. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm sharing it with you today. If you could definitely, um, if you're interested and you haven't signed up, you should take, you know, five minutes. Sign up. It's free um, at ebates.sistersense.com if you want to do it through me. And then share the love with others. Remember I said OPP, other people's products. So um, as you participate in it and you get cash back for yourself, if you then go out and let other people know, whether it be your friends, your family, or people on your online circle about it as well, then you get that wonderful reward of additional cash in your mail too. So that's another great, wonderful recommendation. If you want to see more of the money that you make when you're spending online, do it through Ebates. So at least you can get some cash back return as well as by sharing it with others. You may be able to, through their affiliate program, get revenue from that as well. And then last but not least on the see more train, pay yourself. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> pay yourself. If you want to see more of the money that you make, You've got to make sure that you pay yourself first before you go and pay the bill collectors and before you pay for all the other services. Are you paying yourself first and are you putting aside a savings for yourself? Now, one of the things that I think that we all need is a decent savings account. And an emergency savings account is really the beginning of that, you know. So having at least $500 put aside so that you can build on it from there, that's a biggie and something that I think everybody should have. Now, some recommendations for you. I do everything through PayPal, right? So all of my income, I want to say 100%. I can't even say 99.9% .9 anymore. It's just 100%. All of my income comes through PayPal. And so what I did is in my Google calendar, set reminders for myself so that once a week, Thursday, eight o'clock, that's the day that I've chosen, I get an alert that says, pay yourself <laughs> so that while I'm sitting in front of my computer, I can just automatically transfer money from my PayPal into my bank account, pay myself first and on a consistent basis. That's something that you definitely need to do. So you need to think about how often you're doing that for yourself. And then of course, do you have that $500 emergency fund put aside? I've got one checking account that's just for that, just that, that money there so that it's put aside and available if I need it. 
you know, that, that just a starter account. You also should have a primary savings where you can, you know, save exponentially more than 500, but you should at the very least be able to access a small pool of money that just in case anything happens, you have that $500 there for yourself as well. So I'm going to talk more about savings and credit and little things that I do as far as, you know, my sister sense, financial strategies, how to keep things on a budget. Um, But those are definitely just some starter tips to keep in mind. And of course, you know, as a web designer, I always like to help you guys build it on a budget. So you can definitely watch my build it on a budget series at builditsistersense.com. Right now I'm doing a seasonal promotion where you can participate on a sister sense on my uh, build it on a budget package, which is getting a five, five page package. I had a brain freeze for a second, a five page web design package for $450. And I do that periodically. So um, that's something that you can definitely email me about if you're interested in. And I will let you know if it's still available. So one, two, three, those are our topics today as far as how to live abundantly as an entrepreneur, how to do more, make more, and see more in your business, productivity, income, and savings. Now, today I want to leave you with a wonderful quote, and I don't know who said this quote, but I I heard it and I love it. And so I share it with you. I always call my sister sense quote, keep her quotes because they keep her going and they keep me motivated. And so this wonderful quote is closed mouths don't get fed. Okay. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's kind of the quote of the week for me. And I'm going to be sharing it today as well in my pro blogger session. Closed mouths don't get fed. The idea here is that in order for you to get what you need, you've got to open your mouth. (laughs) You've got to talk. You've got to share. You've got to let people know what's going on. So I definitely want you to be fed and full and live abundantly. So make sure that you are staying connected with me. You are opening up your mouth (laughs) and letting the world know about all the wonderful things that you're doing. And of course, as I mentioned before, ask. You've got to get that ask in gear, (laughs) A-S-K. Go on Sister Sense, whether it be on the voice message uh, section or if you download the SpeakPipe application onto your phone um, so that you can leave me a voicemail, ask me a question. I will try my best to answer as many questions as I can, whether it be via email, on the blog, or inside our Sister Sense podcast show. Woohoo! <laughs> so happy about that. So excited. The first episode of Sister Sense Talks podcast. Definitely let me know what you thought, what you want, what you hope to see. And I hope that you will join me again on SisterSense.com. I'll talk to you more, ladies and gents. Take care. Bye.